JC. Your brother Paul meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you NACO better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. I like to pick him off from a distance. I'll take the rifle. This isn't a training exercise, JC. Your targets will be human beings. Keep that in mind. Never know when I might come up against some heavy armor. Give me the GEP gun. The GEP gun might be useful. They have a security bottom patrol near the statue entrance. Great. The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue, but don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Glad you're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reason they said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. First thing is to get you out of here. I'll handle the enemy. Excuse that I have forgotten your brother Paul Denton and the infinite power of nano-augmentation. I just can't spare any arms. Please retreat to a safe location. Go ahead. Advance up the stairs to the command center at the top. I will take my rusty metal bones and sweep away into the junk pile. Trust each other, JC. Everything depends on it. Try that again, I'll kill you myself. There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they had planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out. It's a long story. You better head to the statue. Which triad was Unatco targeting? We'll talk about that later. How was your graduation? I want to hear what happened. I wish I could have come. At the time, I could have cared less than Mom and Dad came to mind, but it was a good thing. He went through a dinner in honor of me, the first nano-augmented agent. I didn't know that. Guess I must be old news. Dad made a toast. I don't know if you remember his old brown suit. A toast? 
That doesn't sound like our father. It was hard for him in front of the diplomats, but he savored every moment. Strange how proud he could be when so much was due to... our augmentations. Yes, he was proud. I believe that much. It was nice to have done something for him and Mom. I wish someone could have been there for you. I'm used to being on my own. One can be too self-sufficient, I'm coming to believe. Best thing is to let the bots handle the ground assault. You might be able to find some supplies in the comm van by the helipad. Used to be a tourist attraction, huh? I'll keep watch on this side of the island. Enough! You have a job to do. Quit screwing around! You were a little out of line up there. I don't understand. You could have learned a lot from their leader. He wasn't cooperative. Alex said something about an ambrosia shipment. They captured a boatload of ambrosia, the plague vaccine. We might have found out from the leader where they're taking it. So they just disappeared? We don't know their location? Manderley will brief us shortly. You better get to his office on level 2 and report for duty. You're a complete jackass. I don't understand. Command wanted to question the leader. He surrendered to you. I asked him some questions. I didn't like his answers. There's something called protocol. This is a profession, not a sport. I didn't know Unatco handled the ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Yeah, we'll get your ass inside. The briefing will be in Manderley's office, level two. We've got the island secured. How do things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Oh, jackass. Are you out of your mind? That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant. Protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant, and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarre, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue. One thousand credits. We take care of our people around here. The bonus for rescuing Agent Herman goes to one of the troopers, though. I'm sure you understand. We'll meet up in the city. Good. You'll come to admire your partner. She's one of our best. Grow up, JC. Leave from where you arrived, Denton. The boat dock. Move it. Move out, soldier. Are you out of your mind? What are you doing here? You left a hostage situation in Battery Park. I was pursuing the primary objective. I thought you needed help with that EMP field. Leave something like that to Anna and civilians end up dead. Eh, forget about it. You don't have time to go back. JC, we have to talk. That hostage rescue was a disaster. UNATCO policy is clear. No negotiation. 
You try for a rescue, and if it works, it works. I don't need you second-guessing me. Always follow policy, and you end up like Anna Navarra. Is that how you want to operate? Never mind. Right now, you've got other things to worry about. What's the situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the Free Clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. Use reasonable force like you did on Liberty Island. I've got to assemble my team. You better get moving. You can relax, JC. I told the troops to stand down. That's right. I'm working for the NSF. I'll meet you at the 747. Jesus Christ, didn't you hear me? I ordered the militia to stand down. Your militia killed a lot of our men tonight. Just listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. Excellent work. I underestimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. Unatco will have a team here in a few minutes. The Grey Death is a man-made virus. Everyone up to the president is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of Ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the Ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard a Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. Get on the plane. We're almost ready to go. Blackmail of the U.S. government could not possibly escape the notice of the United Nations. Don't be so quick to trust the U.N. Are you kidding? The U.N.'s about the only chance we've got these days. If the U.S. spirals into another civil war... A pretext, nothing more. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Is that so? Remember that the U.N. itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. Get on board. A UNACO security squad will be here any minute. The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. More later. You better get moving. The United Nations secret goal... Well, this is David Rockefeller's description from a half a century ago. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers. The UN was founded not to end war, but to gradually dissolve national governments and replace them with a globalist meritocracy. Average people never benefit from government and business on a scale they can't even understand. Go! Go! Jesus Christ, JC! Seth, this is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. Coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head up. All right, Denton. What the hell happened? You were under direct orders. My orders. Sorry about not killing Lebedev. He seemed worth interrogating. We don't give you enough information to make a call like that. I guess that means I don't get the op bonus. You can turn in your weapons right now, if you're going to be a smart ass. I risked my life and I recovered the Ambrosia. I deserve compensation. We don't have time for trifles. Whatever, take it. But it will be the last one. 
Clearly, monetary incentives don't work with you and Paul. I try to do the best job I can. Just shut up and listen for a second. Christ, JC, this kind of behavior, not to mention your brother's defection, is making certain powerful people very nervous. Nervous about you. You understand the importance of loyalty, don't you? Yes, but... Well, that's what seems to be missing in you and your brother. Brace yourself for an ugly lesson, JC. The Coalition has shut down Paul's augmentations and has activated the kill switch. Activated... what? Is this kill switch real? What's it going to do to you? I'm afraid that's, uh, classified. Manderly said you're going to die. You've got to have God clearance to... to know. The nanites can be programmed for exponential growth. There's a chopper that can take us to Hong Kong. You know, Jock? First, you're the only one that can help. I need to send the NSF distress code. UNATCO tracked Lebedev to the other NSF bases, and a silhouette in France. I came to get you out of here. JC, you've got to believe me. UNATCO takes... payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. You've done what you can for the Rebels. Let's go. Go on. UNATCO takes payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. I'm prepared to believe you. I killed Agent Navara, and I'll join you against UNATCO, but I want proof. You want proof? Pay a visit to the NSF headquarters. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. My report to the militia leaders. Here, I have a photograph of the building. It's a couple blocks to the west, behind the bar. And I suppose while I'm there, you want me to encrypt a signal with the NSF transmitter, bypass UNATCO SIGINT? A lot of people could die. My friend Chad, for example, the leader of Silhouette. I'll check out the facility, but I can't promise I'll help the terrorists. Be ready to leave for Hong Kong when I get back. You sure you're all right? No worse than a bad cold. What kills me is just... that they have this kind of power. The power, yes, but the fact that it's been there from the beginning. A lot of things are starting to make sense. You remember Mom and Dad? You think they knew? Lebedev thought so. He said they were employees of the United Nations. They would never have agreed to anything like a kill switch. Remember, I knew them longer than you did, and after what Tong showed me, I'm pretty certain we don't have a stitch of DNA in common with either of our supposed parents. They've opened up the street behind the bar. The NSF base is on the other side of the tunnel. Silhouette's not much to speak of militarily, but... Brains of the resistance movement. They go after public opinion. If it wasn't for Silhouette, there'd be a half a dozen meaningless civil wars going on instead of any kind of worldwide struggle. Ironically, to fight the one-worlders, we ourselves have to become a global organization. It's been easier than we expected. Average people are beginning to wake up to the fact that bigger isn't better. A few bureaucrats in New York can't make good decisions for New Jersey, let alone Paris, or a village in China. That kind of centralization can only lead to precisely the debacle that the UN has become. Somehow the notion of unalienable liberty got lost. It's really become a question of what liberties will the state assign to individuals. Or rather, what liberties will we have the strength to cling to? It's only a matter of time before someone clever and ambitious figures out that the tools of dictatorship have been ready-made by well-meaning governments all over the world. UNATCO, for instance, a global response to a common problem, looks good on paper, but a global military force is hard to keep accountable. UNATCO is already in the wrong hands. I don't know whose hands, but you'll find records of outside influence if you dig around the NSF headquarters. You better get moving. That wasn't funny. I checked it out. Sorry, Paul. UNATCO isn't perfect, but I'm not a terrorist. And I guess we go our separate ways. Too bad it had to be this way. Yeah, the offer still stands. If you want to go to Hong Kong. No, no, I'll be fine on my own. JC, if only you'd open your eyes for one second. I wish I knew how to convince you. You'll need to sit a satellite dish on the top of the warehouse. If you're unable to hack the computers up there, you'll need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock... Transmitter on the roof. Look around in that room. You should find...
records of the bribes Mandalay has been taking. Then get to the roof, JC. I need you to send that distress signal. I'm receiving confirmation that the signal went out. You even reached Silhouette in France. Come back to the apartment. Let's clear out of New York. Your buddy Chad should have received the signal. Come on, UNAT goes after both of us. Good. He'll be able to get his people to their base in the Paris catacombs. Did you find the records we collected on that weasel Walton Simons? I have a question about Simons. The instant I sent the signal, he ordered the troopers to hunt us down. Why does FEMA have authority over UNATCO? I thought FEMA was a domestic agency for flood relief and that sort of thing. His authority doesn't come from FEMA. He's part of a secret organization, Majestic 12. We don't know much more than the name. They plan to use FEMA as part of a scheme to shut down the U.S. government. UNATCO! Come on, out the window. We'll meet Jock in Battery Park. I can't manage the climb. You go ahead. The code to the gate they installed at the subway station is 6282. I can't just leave you here. Open up! Don't be a fool. Run! I'll hold him off. Hurry! I'll be all right, go! Go out the bedroom window. Take care of yourself. Thanks for the help, now get out of here. Go out the bedroom window. I'll have Smuggler get me to Hong Kong. He owes me a favor. You meet Jock in Battery Park. Go, you don't have much time. You can trust Jock. Paul, are you alright? What are they doing to you? I'm like the Russian researcher who contracted his own virus. They want to study the way I die. I hate to interfere with science, but we don't have much time to get you to trace her tongue. You go first. I'll slip out on my own. You sure? Just take care of yourself, and do me a favor. Check in with Alex when you reach UNACO level 3. Some of those guys are on our side. All right. But you better make it. I have some business to take care of in Manhattan. See you in Hong Kong. Data vault image sent to Tracer Tong. Please leave the facility. At least one of you must survive. The code to the exit door is 1125. I'll slip out on my own. We're beneath UNATCO headquarters. The exit is his office. Tong can protect us. We just have to get to Hong Kong. You better get out of here. I'll make it. I promise. Tong can protect us. Tong fix you up? Yeah, you? You cut it pretty close. I'm in pretty bad shape. Looks like I'll be living in Hong Kong for a couple of months. Will you get better? Any permanent damage? I'll recover, but not right away. You'll be on your own for a while. I hear you've already been keeping busy. Just getting to know the locals. Turns out VersaLife had a universal constructor. They were synthesizing the virus right here. Tong told me. Not a cheap gizmo. Majestic 12 sure does a lot of R&D. Every ruler needs a power base. Without the people, well, you need something to use against them. I'm going to see what Tong has to say about the schematics I recovered. Hey, do me a favor. Get better. I'm working on it. I'm still pretty weak. You'll have to go on to New York without me. Gunther's in the field now. They say he wants your head. Heads are starting to roll at UNATCO. Kaplan, Barry, not sure who else. I'm still pretty weak. You'll have to go on to New York without me. Heads are starting to roll at UNATCO. It let me through. I can't believe it. Paul. Where are you? What do you mean, it? Helios. It's taken over Aquinas. Now it's everywhere. In Hong Kong, it already has power Majestic 12 never dreamed of. What's going on? The AI wants to merge with my brain or something. Does it really think it can take over the world? It's decided to replace human government. I don't know why. In Hong Kong, it ordered the police to remove all barricades from the roads. Traffic is flowing again. It declared the triads illegal and locked the door to the Luminous Path compound. And people are obeying? Why? Because the AI can change some codes and turn out the lights? I think everyone wants the roads to be open and trade to pick up. They just obeyed. I don't know what to think. They trust the AI. 
Almost no one complained when Helios cut power to the government buildings. A benevolent dictator. Maybe it's after my brain so it can figure out what people want and how to control them. You have a tough choice, JC. If you defeat Paige, the Illuminati will move in. They'll release Majestic 12's grip on world governments. They'll give people some freedom, but essentially it will be 20th century capitalism, a corporate elite protected by laws and tax codes. Or I listen to Tong and pull the plug on everything. Or hand the world over to Helios. Well, if it's maximum freedom we want, maybe Tong is onto something. But there must be another way besides economic collapse. If we could trust the AI to be fair and just, as it appears to be, if the brain it assimilated was mine, maybe it could be. I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you, but you'll have to decide for yourself who you can trust. Trust me. I'll do the right thing. You sound good. I guess you have the kill switch beat. I'm much better. Yes, I'm gonna make it. And you will too. Just do what you think is right. <laughs>